Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you tuning into your, um, what are they thinking, what are they feeling tarot reading. We'll be looking into your person, breaking the reading up into three little mini parts. And we're going to be looking at what they're thinking, what they're feeling and what they're going to do. So uh, stay tuned, but this can be for um, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. So if you do identify as one of those signs or you're heavily governed by one of these signs, this reading can absolutely be for you. Uh, just take a moment to meditate on your person here um, and hopefully we can channel their energy. So let's have a look. What is this person thinking about right now? Thinking towards you or your situation? Okay, Four of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. What are they feeling? Knight of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Wow, some powerful emotions here. And what are they going to do? Okay, Seven of Swords with the Ten of Wands. I think that this column came up for another sign, actually. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's go into the first column here. Okay, so what are they thinking? We've got the Four of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, something... Something new has come into the picture for this person. A new idea, a new prospect, a new opportunity, and they're dwelling on it. They're thinking very much about it. Now, it may be a new person. It may be a new job opportunity. Um, it could be a travel opportunity. It could even be living together, moving in together. There's something new that I feel like has been placed in this person's path, okay, from the hand of God, from spirit, the universe, um, and they're weighing things up. This says to me right now, this person hasn't made a concrete decision. And things are very much up in the air, okay, with their thoughts. So I don't get a vibe that they've made a decision and they're sticking to it. There's a lot of fluidity going on in their mind right now. So if you want to change this person's mind, if you want to talk to them, if you want to try to convince them of something, it may be a good time to do that. Because as new ideas are going to come to them, they're going to start to weigh those things up, okay? There's some repetitive thoughts going on, possibly about maybe a new connection, moving away, moving together. They're, they almost have like this tennis match going on in their mind right now. And it's about you, Earth Signs. You've come up as a two of pentacles. So it's you are somehow tied into this important decision that's coming up to them, um, or you will be affected by this decision. Now, they don't want to reveal it just yet, okay? Um, and especially with the doing what they're about to do column, they're, they're treading lightly. So they don't want to clue you in on it yet. They may not be ready to tell you. They may not be ready to communicate this. Give them some time. The Four of Cups says to me, um, there's a lot of new thoughts and new ideas coming to them. But it's coming from the external environment, friends, family, external sources, work sources. It's coming from outside of the relationship, but it's somehow going to affect the relationship. And they're thinking about this a lot. I do want to mention that this, the, the four, of, four of Cups figure sits by the Tree of Life. Now, the Tree of Life is important decisions. Tree of Life is growth. The Tree of Life is movement into new milestones. So they could be thinking about some heavy topics here. Let's shift over to what they're feeling. Knight of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Okay, this person feels like Ten of Cups, you can give them their happily ever after. Okay, they either want to get married, get engaged, have children, um, move in together, build a home together. They see you as someone that they could share their forever with. Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. And they're feeling like right now, the two of you, the way things are going, they are fantasizing about having this happily ever after with you. Okay, maybe being a parent um, to their children, maybe moving in, maybe, you know, meeting their grandchildren, uh, maybe starting a family maybe adopting, um, or maybe just feeling like family together. There's a real sense that this person feels a lot of closeness to you. And this is really wonderful because it shows they feel they can trust you. They feel like you're a base to them. You anchor them at the signs. And this comes as no surprise. And I feel it's very fitting. It reflects your, your the nature of Earth energy. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands, they're really excited. Okay, their feelings, you make them excited. Could be very, you know, this, this intimate excitement. Okay, it could be like you give them a lot of pleasure. It could be that they get very excited to see you. Or you just make them feel very buzzed with the Knight of Wands. And they're highly attracted. Okay, the Knight of Wands is this beautiful figure on this, on this wonderful um, 
wonderful horse here looking very handsome indeed so very attractive so it's fire energy they're very attracted very attracted to you um but it's more than that they feel this attraction but then they also feel like wow i can be serious with this person so it's really they've got the best of both worlds and they're very much enjoying this there's some things you know, there's some things they want to share, but I feel like they're holding back. Sometimes I feel they get a little bit distracted by you, distracted by your looks, your charm, your energy. Um, but I think overall, in terms of how they're feeling, there's some strong lust and infatuation developing here, but there's something also much deeper, okay? Now, the cups that, uh, the, the card that precedes the Ten of Cups is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the wish card. Ten of Cups is having that wish fulfilled. So there's someone here who feels like you've fulfilled something very big for them, okay? Maybe you've helped them with money. Maybe you helped them heal from an addiction. Maybe you helped them to believe in love again. Maybe you helped their children. Maybe you helped their personal life. Maybe you helped them in work. But it's something that was very important to them. A wish, a goal, a desire. Something that was very, very important. And you helped achieve it. And this has made them feel even more attached, even more in love, even more hopeful of what the future will bring. So that's absolutely fantastic. Let's shift over now to what will they do? Okay, Ten of Wands with a Seven of Swords, treading lightly. They may continue to keep things from you. And I think it's about their thoughts. Um, give them time. The Ten of Wands... They're going to continue on, okay? Even if things are tough or things are hard or their thoughts are sort of outweighing their minds, they're going to press on. I don't see them giving up. This is not a card of giving up. But the Seven of Swords could indicate that in, in terms of what they're doing, they may be doing something behind your back, okay? It could be a surprise that they may be planning. It could be a new job that they're sort of doing. It could be something they know you don't necessarily approve of and they might be doing it. If you feel this, call them out on it. Um, if you don't feel it, you know, you may see some signs here um, because the Seven of Swords can be an act of deception. They may deceive you in some way or they may um, manipulate something here, their words, their actions. Something may not make sense and it could be contradictory even, okay? Um, so, you know, make sure you don't let too much of that behavior slide. Uh, and I feel like with the Ten of Wands, I really do feel like they, they don't really have malicious intent. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, they are going to put in the hard work. So if you're wanting some sort of standard to be met or you want them to do something for you, I think they're very capable of doing that. Um, but I feel like they're doing, they, they're carrying a burden all on their own. They, they, they're they not sharing something with you. And I don't know if they want to, don't want to put a burden on you. Um, I don't know if they feel like you might run away or you might get scared. But there's a vibe here that, something's too heavy and they don't want to share it to you because they don't want to dampen your mood possibly something tied into that um earth signs so uh, we'll see how that plays out but i hope that has been helpful for you um i really appreciate you joining the channel please don't forget to subscribe to get notifications for readings for your sign there is a lot more content coming to the channel so please stay tuned otherwise don't forget to like and share as well if you have enjoyed this content and I'm sure we will be catching up very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.